right? The battery is connected. But what is true about it? The 9 volt battery is going to place some charge on it, right? Q minus Q. When I disconnect it, the Q minus Q is going to stay there, right? So its charge is going to stay constant, right? Now uh, I bring in dielectric material. What happens? So here's the formula. The potential energy in this case is going to be what? The potential energy uh, original, let's call it. This time, I'm not going to use the formula half CV squared because the V is not constant. I'm going to use Q squared over 2C, okay? And then potentially nu is going to equal what? Well, the charge is going to be the same. And the, the capacitance nu, and the capacitance nu is what? It's larger by a factor of kappa, right? So the potential energy then what is what? Since C nu is uh, larger by a factor of kappa, the potential energy nu is uh, smaller than the potential energy uh, original by a factor of kappa. So what's going to happen as I'm trying to put the dielectric in? Is it going to want it? Yes. Yep, it's going to want it. As you're trying to put this in, you're going to feel a force this way created by the capacitor. You're going to feel a force. It's going to want you to put it in because the potential energy is decreasing as you're putting it in. Okay? But in this case, there's no battery attached to it. You can just simply, uh, yeah, there's no battery attached to it. So it's a much different situation. So here, uh, capacitor, you can almost kind of say it this way, capacitor uh, pulls dielectric in, and then in this case, capacitor resists the dielectric, because the 9-volt battery is still there. another way you can understand here why, why you might resist. The capacitance uh, is equal to Q over V, right? And V is equal to Q over C, right? So here's what's happening. The, the voltage across is constant, right? So the V is constant. Now, as I'm putting in more capacitance, as C is going up, what needs to happen in order to keep the voltage the same? The Q needs to increase, right? So who's going to supply that Q? The battery. The battery says, I don't want to work hard anymore. I've already charged this capacitor up. You're putting an extra, this is uh, overtime. Okay. So this is uh, overtime, OK? So you're putting in a dielectric, and you're still asking the battery, hey, maintain 9 volts across it. The battery says, no, this is overtime. I got to be paid extra hard for it, okay? So in order to maintain the same charge, it's going to now need to deliver more charge, Q and C. Therefore, in a way, in a way the, it's the battery that's resisting you. It doesn't want you to put it in, okay? Now, I believe one of the extra credit questions in this chapter is related to this. There's an extra credit problem that uh, I've assigned. And if somebody's trying to stick in a dielectric, and the problem asks, I believe, what is the force that it resists with, or something like that? How much force is going to be resisting you? Now you get the idea of what's going on. It's pretty interesting. So this, this scenario also helps to explain the use of these formulas, and in this to use which one. When the V is constant, notice I use this one. When the Q is constant, I use this one. You see? Okay, now let's uh, 
of problem where I, I uh, include some of the things that we've been learning here.